Today we're going to look to see how we can extend Jira Service Desk with Power Scripts from C Prime. And what we're trying to do is add a group of users to the participants automatically when the issue is created. Um, and we're going to do that as part of a workflow function. So I have a script already created right here called add group as participants and it's essentially blank except for some comments and I'm already in the workflow on the create issue transition um, oops. and I'm gonna add the blank script as a post function and we'll add the code in later. All right. Now it's added as a post function. I just need to move the execution order down to the bottom. and publish my workflow. All right, that's done. Now, in another script, right here, we add the assignee to, as a service desk participant. And what I love about this script is it really illustrates the most powerful thing about power scripts and that's the the ease of use when it comes to the syntax i mean we have just a simple statement here an equals statement um, it doesn't get any cleaner than that and i think we can build off that and i don't think we need to do very much more so uh, I was over in the uh, PowerScripts documentation and we have this function which gets all the users in um, specified groups and returns an array of users. And theoretically, this custom field will take an array in, in this statement. So I think all we need to do is change assignee to this user and groups function then we need to specify the groups so i have this group i used for auto assignment in another way it's just auto assign users Oh, but it's an array. And I think that's all we need. So we specify the groups. And then we just say custom field, which um, is the ID of the ad participants custom field. And if you want to see how you get there. We just go over to our custom fields and let's see requested participants if you just drop down the gear and go to view and if you look right it will be right down there you see at the end of the URL string it says one zero three zero one well that's the ID of the custom field you can also grab that out of the database so then we say custom field 10301, which we know is request the participants, and we set it equal to this function. That should be all we need. Let's give it a try. Ooh, pretty sure this is the workflow I used. All 
and I know there are three users in that auto assign group so after I hit create I should see three users as requested participants and they're there uh, so that those are the members of the group automatically added as requested participants and the beautiful part it was two lines of code which is just one of the good good very good things about um, power scripts so uh that's it that's all you have to do uh thanks for watching have a good one